Soulmates? You're asking me about fucking soulmates here now? What? Wendell wants us to kidnap Mason, and you want to talk fucking soulmates. I'm just trying to make conversation. That's a weird thing to ask me about, especially out of the blue. Well, I've met someone. I just wondered what your position on soulmates was. My position? Yeah, do you believe in the concept? I mean, what constitute a connection that deep? You met someone, huh? Yeah. You think it's deep? Soulmate deep? I'm thinking so. Bullshit. What you got? That ain't soulmates. That's an awful lot of certainty in your voice. I've seen soulmates. I've looked into the eyes of someone that in love. Your eyes? It ain't there. Did you get it? Have I ever not come through? Let me have it. Listen, Julia, are you sure you want to do this? That's the only thing left to do. Look, I might be terminal, but I'll still go on my own terms. What about Monty? Please, Julia, don't do this. I'm stunned. It's done! But it makes no sense. We were happy. You were happy. People, they change, Monty. I have to go. I do. We just can't do this But anymore. you said you loved me! I do! I did. You're right, everything. Julia. And you think that was the right thing to do? I think it'd be harder on him if we were still together when it happened. I'm not sure it can get any harder for him. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it can. Look, if we were together when I do this, he'd just blame himself for not being able to stop me. So you told him about the cancer, too, then? Why do that? What, so he can try to talk me into fighting a losing battle, what, with him by my side, watching as I wither and die? No thanks. Neither of us need to suffer through that. It already has six rounds in it. I only need one. You know he loves you, right? When I saw him earlier today, I saw it in his eyes. He would never see you as the burden that you think you'll become in the end. Thanks. But I just needed the gun, not a relationship assessment. Wait a minute. You saw Monty today? It's not an assessment. I'm not judging. I'm just pointing out what I would hope someone would point out to me if the roles were reversed. You think that would change anything? You think that would suddenly make you want to subject the person you love the most to the pain of watching you what waste away into nothing, into a putrid shell that barely even resembles the person you once were? Look, Julia, I can't pretend to know what you're going through. I just thought it was worth pointing out is all. Yeah, well, thanks all the same, Carlisle. But my mind is made up. She thought she was doing the right thing. She loved him so much, she couldn't bear to put him through that. But what she failed to figure in was how deeply his love for her ran. Did you get it? Have I ever not come through? Let me have it. Listen, Monty. Are you sure about this? She broke up with me, Carlisle. I understand that. But, but this. She doesn't deserve this. Not that I don't find your concern for my ex touching, but can we just get this over with? It's your rodeo, Romeo. I'm just a man with the merchandise. Well, then how's it about handing it over so I can get on with it? Perhaps in an anxious push you're feeling there's a reason to give you a pause. An opportunity to reconsider. You're right, everything. 
Julia. My son, my light. Without you, all I have is darkness. You'll find your way, money you always do. But there's no way to find out without you, not if you leave. In time you'll find out that's not true, it's not true. Please, please just reconsider. There's nothing to reconsider. <laughs> no sucker to reconsider. It's done. She sealed this fate when she left me. That's fucking harsh. <laughs> Funny. I don't remember you being so judgmental and intrusive in your client's affairs before. Not all of my client interactions tend to end in body bags and police reports. But when they do, I tend to offer a voice of reason where I feel one may be lacking. Thanks all the same, Carlisle. My mind's made up. Have a true way. Money? 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 Monty! No! No! No, 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 no! Money, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Please! No! She thought she was coming to leave him a note, some small peace of mind he might find at some time after the news of her death. But as it turns out, he'd left a note of his own. This wasn't something she was prepared for. you think that was the right thing to do? So she took herself out right there, over his body? Not quite. What the fuck? Why did she do that? I didn't see that coming. Because she felt responsible. She needed to suffer for the pain that she caused him. To be punished. So, she took the gun, fired a shot into his head. And when the cops got there, she confessed to his murder. Seriously? I mean, wouldn't the autopsy show she was lying? There wasn't one done. As far as the cops were concerned, they had everything they needed with her confession. So, she rotted away in prison, finally succumbing to the cancer. That's your fucking story? True love? A fucking soulmate? That's the type of love I should be striving for? <laughs> it is indeed. 
That's not soulmates. That's an unhealthy case of codependency. What? No, that's love, my friend. You just don't understand it because you obviously have never felt anything that deep and powerful before. Yeah, obviously. They were so moved by each other's love that he couldn't live without her, and she couldn't live with him riding shotgun to her death. And in the end, knowing how much she hurt and cost him, she couldn't just cash out without paying back what she could. That's a pretty twisted story. It's a pretty twisted existence. The world is full of fucking stories like that. Me, you.